It was yet another flying start for Glory and Gosford, and yet another goal for Andy Keogh. Adam Pearce did well, and Andy Keogh, the goal drought is over at five matches. Tomislav Merchula then unwittingly took the idea of breaking the net a little bit too far before Fabio Ferreira came back to haunt one of his former clubs with a fine header. Score Fabio Ferreira against his former club. Followed by a cheeky chip. Dazzling footwork and lands it in the top corner, Fabio Ferreira. And he's having a New Year's Eve to remember. And the visitors also managed to grab their customary stoppage time goal as Keogh struck again to round out an emphatic 4-1 win. Central Coast Mariners 1, Perth Glory 4. The men in purple started 2019 as they had finished 2018 by scoring four times on the road. But they did it the hard way at Brisbane after Adam Taggart had put Raw 2-0 up in the first half. A brace of penalties from Neil Kilkenny turned the game on its head after the break, however. Again, they headed away. Santalab appeals for handball. Does he go the same spot? Young can't get there. And a stunning comeback was completed in the last five minutes by Aaron Reardon's own goal and Andy Keogh's header. Ken Aze just got a little confused and Andy Keogh continues his golden goal-scoring run. Brisbane Raw 2. Perth Glory 4. Keen to avenge their only defeat of the season to that point, Glory tore into Sydney FC right from the off and went ahead after Joel Kianese clipped home Jason Davidson's inch-perfect cross. Three goal by the Perth Glory and it's Joel Kianese who's able to open the scoring. And the former Sky Blues man was added again moments later, this time latching onto a sublime Neil Kilkenny through ball and rifling past Andrew Redmayne. Three minutes into the second half, an eye-catching victory was effectively sealed when another ex-Sydney FC man, Brendan Santalab, made it 3-0, and he made no secret of how much he enjoyed doing so. Play with it, 3-1. The hectic summer of football schedule continued with Western Sydney Wanderers providing the opposition at HBF Park just four days later in what turned out to be one of the most remarkable games of a thrilling campaign. Trailing 3-1 with only 14 minutes left, all seemed lost. Sydney, and they get an eight, a second. Goals unguarded momentarily, Neville puts it back in, blocked in eventually. It's scrambled over the line, and the glory in the blink of an eye get one back for it. But Tony Popovich's men had other ideas. Ivan Franjic's header reduced the deficit. And a big header, off the crossbar, hit it again, and it's in. Franjic with the follow-up, Suman with a desperate lunge. Andy Keogh side-footed home the equaliser. And Keogh scores! Frenich tees it up. It's 3-3. And with a wondrous defence in disarray, one day slammed home his first glory goal from the spot to complete a truly stunning comeback. Remarkable drama in the West. And it's the Perth Glory 4, Western Sydney Wanderers 3. Round 14, in contrast, saw glory held at arm's length by a Melbourne City side that once again proved resolute at the back. Despite the best efforts of Diego Castro and Neil Kilkenny, Warren Joyce's men held firm and the visitors were forced to settle for a point. Melbourne City nil, Perth glory nil. It was a similar story four days later when Adelaide United visited HBF Park on an unseasonably wet and cold evening. And despite enjoying the bulk of the possession and the better of the chances, Glory could not find a way through and it ended scoreless. And he's going to try from long range. A back heel to Davidson. Kianese, so close. Perth Glory nil, Adelaide United nil. The sun was back out for the round 16 visit of Newcastle and Glory were back among the goals. Diego Castro teed up Andy Keogh for the first. the opener. Combination play from the glory. While well, the second was an absolute stunner from Neil Kilkenny, that would ultimately earn the midfielder the club's Goal of the Year award. A stunning strike to bend it into the side netting. First glory two, Newcastle Jets nil. A third home game in the space of just 10 days yielded another impressive win for glory. Shane Lowry and Chris Economides both finding the net with first half headers. Franich was nudged out of it. Castro struck it. Economides heads it home. The glory have to. The returning from the Socceroos and continuing in his goal scoring ways. And Andy Keogh icing a comfortable victory 
by picking out the bottom corner shortly after the hour mark. He's the Irishman, Andy Keogh! Perth Glory 3, Wellington Phoenix nil. Glory returned to Amy Park for another showdown with Melbourne Victory in round 18 and again emerged with all three points. Neil Kilkenny's nerveless penalty broke the deadlock before Diego Castro hooked home Chris Economidison's cross in spectacular style to claim the all-important second goal. To the word! What a player! And the full-time results at Amy Park. Perth Glory 2, Melbourne Victory 1.